Hey YouTube, this is Bubs Comics bringing you in a review of Toys R Us limited edition X-Men number one. <clears throat> now you may think this is kind of a goofy looking cover, and it is. Uh, it's got uh, Professor X on the cover there, and he's looking just rather goofy. Uh, the whole thing is kind of odd, um, but that's really just the cover. Uh, inside, it's much more of a standard story. Uh, it's, an, it's an official Marvel comic. And there's something very special about this comic, uh, I believe. And I challenge uh, the internet officially to prove me wrong. So, here's what we got. We're going to open it up in a minute, but it's a beautiful cover. It's got uh, Professor X inside the Sentinel's head. It says, Betrayed, and Professor X is taunting the X-Men about how, what, how they're going to get defeated by him and his Cyber Sentinel. Um, I'm not going to give you too many spoilers on this one. I'm going to open it up for you, though. And what's great about this comic is that it's sponsored by Toys R Us. So all of the advertisements inside are all based on Toys R Us. So you see there, it's got a nice Jeffrey the Giraffe. A little throwback to the childhood. That's a great front cover. Or first page, rather. And it's not in the best of condition. Uh, here's, if you're ever looking this book up, uh, it never says Toys R Us. It always says, like, X-Men Premium Edition, I believe is what it's called. And, and the storyline is called the Cyber Sentinel, or the Cyber Scenario. Uh, of course, that's not on the cover in any way. And it doesn't say, it says Limited Edition as opposed to Premier Edition. So if you're looking up trying to find this book, it says Premier Edition. Uh, there's some more great advertisements for the 10-inch Marvel X-Men, we'll say action figures. <laughs> um, and there's some games, Toys R Us game advertisements. But we're coming up on the big reason why this book is special. Right there. That top right corner panel, that's da -da 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 Deadpool. This, I believe, is the first appearance of a Deadpool of Deadpool in an X-Men titled comic series. This book came out in 1993. It predates the Circle Chase, the Deadpool limited series, the four uh, four series event. It's, he's not just cameoed either. He's got a feature role. Uh, he's part of the bad guys in this one. And uh, it even includes quite a bit of Deadpool humor. So it's the full, it's the real Deadpool. And uh, as he says right there, for the money you're paying me, I'd fight the Hulk. And you see him with all his little bad companions. So I just wanted to show this and have you all see. From what I can tell, it's the first appearance of Deadpool in an X-Men title comic. Uh, now, if you say, oh, X-Force and the X-Men family of comics and that group, then fine. This isn't the first. You know, of course, New Mutants. But in, an, in a book that says X-Men across the top, I believe this is his first appearance. And either way, it's still a very early appearance of Deadpool. Now, everywhere I've seen this book for sale... Uh, nothing says anything about these facts, so or what I believe them to be facts. So it's possible that this is kind of a under the radar. If you're a Deadpool collector and you're looking for an early appearance of Deadpool that most people probably won't have in their collection, I think this would be a good a good grab. I paid 49 cents for this comic. So I had to add my own bag and board. It would hardly be worthy of one. It's not in great condition. But, uh, you know, from my own collection, I'm a reader. It's a pretty good story. I enjoyed it. Um, and, of course, like I said, it's never been advertised that I can see as having Deadpool as a featured villain in the story. So when I was reading this and came across Deadpool, I said, what? And you could tell it's an early drawing of Deadpool. I said, this is crazy. And he had all his usual characteristics of goofing off and picking on the other people. 
So uh, kind of a little bit of fourth wall breaking, not directly, but kind of implied. It's pretty good. Um, so this could be a hidden gem for all you Deadpool fans out there. If you're an X-Men fan, definitely going to fit right in. It fits in with the same character group as the 91 series X-Men, so it fits right into that as well. It's a one-shot, so you can start it and finish it, and you don't have to get roped into any ongoing storylines. And it's got Deadpool. So I think this is a real win. You could probably pick it up for just a couple of bucks anywhere you look. And, uh, you know, do like I did and then tell everyone what a great deal you got as an early appearance in Deadpool, if not the first in an X-Men titled comic. So tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm wrong. There's a lot of people know a whole lot more about this stuff than I do, and I'm not definitely the authority on Deadpool. So if there's a book that predates 93 that has Deadpool in it, uh, and it's an X-Men book, then please tell me I'm wrong, and I, I challenge the internet to prove me wrong on this one. There's very little you can find on the internet and research-wise about his early appearances and whether they, whether this book is the earliest or not. But either find it. If you find something that helps me corroborate this, go right ahead and do that as well. So uh, I look forward to it. So hope you enjoyed the video. It's a quick review. Uh, you know, like, share, subscribe. And when you're done with all that, turn off your computers and go read a book. Thanks. Bye.